So for leaching, as I mentioned, it's it's you know depends on what type of leaching you do. Usually it will be in tanks. Of tanks that depends on the materials. So it's material selection, size of the tanks. Size of the tanks can be different. Depends on the throughput and all those things. You know that's 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 not a not an issue. Um, Heap leaching is a different total, different design. Vat leaching, pressure leachers, it's, they will design according to the pressure and temperature that you do it, etc. Um, in purification step, I mean, in carbon and ion exchange, a lot of that happens within those leaching tanks. So you don't need extra equipment. So you need the same equipment for carbon absorption and ion exchange. It's very similar for in the dimension. Uh, but when you're actually doing, um, for example, um, uh, solvent extraction uh, and, and, and st a few steps like that, you'll need solvent extraction. So you use use mixer setless to do that um, and you can design it either uh, you know, as, a, as a column or it can be designed, for example, as, a, as, as, as units into a, a long range of cells which is next to each other. So there's a variety of designs for it. Um, they all do the same thing. Um, for uh, uh, what you call it, uh, electro-winning and electro-refining, you, lo you lose electro-winning cells, which is a cathode and anode. They, they design, I mean, they, they're there. And for um, uh, precipitation, you actually basically use a, 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 a semi, very similar equipment that you will use for fertilizers. When you, you're making fertilizers where you actually uh, oversaturate and then precipitate the, the material out. So, very similar type of pieces of equipment, but I mean, uh, um, standard, I mean, flotation cells that can be columns or they can be tank cells, uh, you know, a variety of them, a variety of makes, uh, they all can do the job. What you will do is you, at the end of the day, do, our purpose is actually to, to, dis, to select the right size. It's all about throughput and what's the right, correct size and what is the best for that specific uh, application. Uh, if you're in an environment where you have to have roofs over it, etc., etc., you know, you might design very more uh, uh, into tank cells for implantation, things like that, you know. If it's in an environment where it can be outside, you can have column cells, you know, doesn't matter. Um, same electro, uh, with electro wind, and uh, not electro wind, solvent extraction. You have to have, realize that you use solvents. If you use solvents, you it's a fire hazard or well, other things. Uh, all gases, etc. So you actually have to have certain safety precautions and things like that. Um, so what you will use is you, will, you know, these these mixer settlers. You basically can go and go and buy them. You just have to design it according to the size, and then you go to the equipment guys and you say, "I would like that."